Hello everyone, Bakibins here, and with another update released, I did not expect so many mods to get updated so fast, and yet, they did. So various mods I've been thinking about reviewing have made it to 1.16.1, which I think that is just simply epic, right? Okay, so the mod that made an unintentional cameo in my last mod spotlight for 1.15.2 where I reviewed the advanced hook launchers and doggy talents that was the rats mod and they invaded our house in that video and I was not intending on reviewing that while reviewing doggy talents but I figure we could start with it this time as it's been overhauled to the latest version of Minecraft and by start with it I actually mean make a whole video on it because it's just such a huge and expansive mod full of rats that it takes it took me tons of time to explore and record this it's been like a whole month so since then minecraft 1.16.2 came out you know uh, better than one it's uh, 0.2 and uh, i haven't actually played that yet but the mod is not on uh, 1.16.2 yet just the just the first uh, 1.16.1 the mod made it here this fast and i'm sure that it will be updated soon so first of all this mod was created by alex1 the 1666 and it requires citadel in order to download citadel is just a lightweight library created for this mod and a few others to work the rats mod is actually a lot more expansive than just adding well, you know, rats. There's an evil Pied Piper who is an illager and quoted from the website has mastered the ability to control rats with his rat flute so prepare to get attacked by rats whenever you see him. Well, not all the rats are evil, they sure can be annoying or a nuisance. Rats can sneak through doors, leading them into your precious house where they can then steal food and seeds from your chest. If you happen to keep a farm on your estate, watch out as they can destroy crops as well and can even sneak through fences. However, I was unable to catch them destroying crops as they seemed to be scared of the player in survival mode and I was in the area at that time. Still, I recommend keeping a backup food supply just in case the rats decide to strike. Though, if you're not worried about it, you can always craft a rat trap to protect your goods. They are quite cheap, only requiring an iron ingot slapped together on an iron trap door and three wooden plank slabs. Sure, rats can be annoying at first, but you can also tame them using cheese. It's a little bit of a process, as you first have to corner the rat and then drop cheese onto the ground near approximately 10 to 15 times before it trusts you. Once tamed, rats are able to be commanded. They have commands such as wander, stay here, follow me, gather items, hunt prey, and more. They can even be used to auto-craft items provided you have the crafting upgrade on your table. You can also breed them to attain even more glorious rats. When it comes to taming your own rats, it helps to have a pit like this. However, it's subjective whether they'll fall in on their own or not. That's why I previously showed me digging a hole around the Pied Piper's rats after he died because it was much easier to A. 
find the rats and B trap them as there are three so you have a higher chance of getting at least one but as you can see here they're desperately trying to run away from me and they will do this whether they're trapped or not it's because I'm a big scary minecraft humanoid and they are tiny little rats this is where the piper hat comes in which sometimes drops from the pied piper and other times you can craft it to craft it you will need five pieces of pied wool which is a drop from the pied piper you get it pretty much every time as well as a feather once you put it on the rats will instantly no longer be scared of you so it'll be much easier to trap and tame them and then your cheese you get from a cauldron you throw some milk in there and it will ferment into a block of cheese right here that's what it looks like and then you take that out it gives you four pieces of cheese so if you do that a bunch of times then you'll get enough cheese to feed these ratters I gotta feed them before the apocalypse comes to get us so there's just one bug I noticed in the 1.16 update with the latest patch the 1.0.5 patch I believe for the rats mod and that is when you use the slash summon command on a rat like you do slash summon and then you type rats colon rat and then it's su not you summon it you press enter and it summons and if you like trap them and you try to feed them cheese they will only eat it once and you remember you have to feed them 10 to 15 times in order to actually tame them if you summon a rat normally with the command rats rat then it doesn't work properly but if you do the rat spawner then it will work properly like this one's burrowing in the hole because it's afraid of me because I don't have the piper hat on anymore so like huh that's a thing so that's how you make it work it's weird that it's like two different commands because you'd think that it'd just be one Get out of this hole. Not die via creeper. God, there's another one. Okay. There they are. Alright, we got them. So then there's this rat cage, if you're wondering how breeding works. So you can line them up together. We have three rats. We have this one, this one, and this one. So we have one female. And you can actually put them on you. So like you can put three of them on you at a time. <laughs> so I have like a bunch of rats on me. But for now, for now we're going to put them in there. Oops. So you click once, you deposit them in there, and then there's this breeding lantern. This is crafted with three red dye, a redstone lamp, and a piece of string. And then you just hang this ornament in there, and they are breeding. And you get, it looks like they form this tiny little thing. On the, that's kind of cute looking. That's absolutely adorable. And then you can give them upgrades and you can give them cheese. I wonder if that like restores their HP or anything. But yeah, they have a lot of commands. I'm gonna set all of them to hunt monsters and like pray we survive the apocalypse 
Up oh, I totally missed the spider. Where are they going? Oh, they're coming back. No, not rat. Okay. Maybe these mobs are a little too strong. No. Well, okay. I gotta get better armor. Hold up. I cannot s this one got stuck in the door, thankfully. <laughs> um, so there's different upgrades. You can make them go faster and give them more health. You can have them craft on the crafting table. Give them base armor plus the armor you put on them. So I don't want this video to be like too long, but there's a lot of upgrades as I just showed and I do want to show some of the upgrades. I definitely want to show the crafting one, so you'll need the special crafting table. You see here the rat crafting table and you get that just by surrounding the normal crafting table, which is. So I have this now, but you don't they can't like automatically do it yet that's step one acquiring the cheese to get this table but then you'll need the upgrade which unlocks them to actually process the crafting recipes so you're gonna need diamonds because you're gonna need to craft the up basic rat upgrade which does require diamonds so like you'd have to be playing for a little bit to acquire diamonds before you're able to do this which Auto crafting is more of a end game thing, so I don't think that's a problem since like you're not gonna auto craft at the beginning like as soon as you start the game, you know, you're gonna have to put in the effort for that beforehand. But yes, this is a uh, this is pretty simple, just four pieces of cheese, four diamonds. Or there's apparently also these fragments you get as a rare drop from rats and speaking of rare drops i'm not supposed to mention this yet but there is this one item that opens a portal to another dimension and that is extremely rare like an extremely rare drop and that's the chunky cheese token <laughs> and that name may sound oddly familiar but yeah it's an extremely rare drop from rats and you click anywhere to open a portal to Ratlantis, which is your other dimension, uh, full of crazy rat stuff. And uh, it, it says according to the wiki that it, it has a 1 in 10,000 chance of spawning one, once a rat dies, so uh, that's pretty insane. And there's a lot of achievements in this pack too. Rats mod, so here's like all the achievements. There's a lot of them. So essentially you can always go to this when you're not sure what, what to do. So now we have this, so then we can actually get the upgrade for the rat to auto craft right here. And you're gonna need some stone tools, an axe and a pickaxe and some wood and a piece of cheese. So again, it's not, this, this one's not bad. It doesn't require any diamonds besides your uh, basic rat upgrade. So yeah, now that we have this, we can put it in the rat's inventory in the upgrade slot. And that is adorable, oh my god, it's wielding tools, I love it. And then we can set it to wander. And uh, yeah, you have crafting above the table, okay, so I need to put you above the table, I guess. How am I gonna get you up here? Oh, I can probably just, um... Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yay! It, uh, barely on top, but it still... It works. <laughs> 
that's so cute I love it so now you can put recipes in there uh, place an item to be crafted and then you add in the materials to craft it and they'll craft it for you I guess in the example they just crafted bone meal and like I'll show you that just cause like I have bones why does it say Arky a different kind? Is that a di what? What is that? Oh, okay. You can choose. Uh, but you can choose whether to use a bone block, whatever that is. That's like a head of some sort, or the normal bones. So it's good you get you get a choice, cause I don't know what that other thing is. And then they'll start crafting. Oh my God! Look at them go. They're so cute, little workers. And then you can also make a cheese stuff. And that's actually pretty cheap. I don't know why I didn't make it sooner. But that makes it so like you can click on a chest and they'll put items in the chest I don't know if you can do it with crates I think you can actually because it says right here you can deposit items take items or set a home point for rat to barrel so I don't know if that'll actually do anything since they're a crafting rat and not like a harvesting rat if they were a harvesting rat I think that would but they're done crafting for now so like I can always take out the upgrade and give them another upgrade so like they're pretty well rounded you don't have to have a whole bunch and oh my gosh our other rat grew up yay they are also a female awesome I want to see how you look wielding them <laughs> look at them <laughs> they aren't standing up so it looks weird There they go. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> so the other upgrades, you can have them automatically milk cows, which is like good because I'm gonna need this because you need a lot of cheese for this mod. <laughs> like you need eight blocks of cheese to craft the table. So like, I think that's, you're gonna need eight buckets of milk for that to put in the cauldron to make all that cheese so this upgrade was good for that so there's a basic one you'll again need four diamonds though so keep that in mind my rat's still outside please don't get infected okay no it's in here oh it's even harvesting wheat for me that's so cute but it's not it's not going I don't want you to harvest crops I want you to oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm so sad. Maybe I shouldn't do that at night. Oh my god, when I click on my cheese staff, you can see the dead rat. That is awful. I'm I'm so devastated. What where was what Oops. What? Why are you at my door? Hello? What? Now you're running away from me. Oh, dude, I'm so confused. Is it because I have a rat in my head? Is that why you're doing that? Okay, so this is a new mob. And you can trade with him, apparently, but like. I don't have any of this stuff, nor do I have emeralds. And what we saw earlier was a rat skull. I don't know what that is good for. You can make a banner out of it. Okay, that's cool. Or you could turn it golden and it get purifying liquid, which cures zombie villagers. So that's useful. God, there is so much content in this mod. I cannot review it all. It's a shame. <laughs> I just filled my inventory up with upgrades because I want to see how these work. Okay, so it was already holding a hat. And then... Oops, wrong, wrong slot. 
So you put it in the cheese slot and it'll start turning it into another hat, which at the moment is just pirate hats. I can wear these though, they look they look pretty funky. I can also put them on other rats. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so many of them. That can't be the only hat. There's gonna be another hat. No, it only wants to make that one hat. Nice. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. So there's a festive one. Oh, it gets a present. It will gift one every hour. Oh, you have to bind it. Oh, so that's what they look like. <laughs> yeah, that one, like, takes a lot. Okay, so you put a skeleton skull in there. Oh, so you put different hats to get different things. I see. Oh, I see now. Okay. What are you- what? Oh, it's pushing me. <laughs> Okay, so Gem of Ratlantis, Basic Ratlion, uh, Spirit Flame, a Toga, a Claw, a Cheese Cannonball, a Pirate Cutlass, which that's better than Diamond in it. Yeah, that's better than Diamond, so. I want one of those, hold up. Is it, is it multiple steps it seems like? Or is it because it doesn't have full health? That could be it. No, it still doesn't want to work. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, it gives them red eyes. Let's go see you fire lasers. What do I get from eating rot? rot? Nothing, it just fills me up. Nice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, that scared the shit out of me! It's so loud! Where'd it go? Where'd you go? I actually don't know where it went. But where is it? Oh, there it is! It fell in a hole! Oh my god. <laughs> it eats their rotting flesh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna need to quarantine you. Oh, I'm I thought I was gonna get blown up. Wait, so can all rats eat rotten flesh or just that one? I feel like it'd be mean to feed them it, but I want to see now. That one's still at it. I don't think it's going to give me the, the cut loss. Um, no, okay. Oh, wait. They will eat it. Oh, that's so gross. But I ate it too, so like, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, there's even one for the nether update. This one's clearly new, cause you got nether cheese. Oh boy. That looks so weird. <laughs> There was one for the B update too. Oh, 
Oh, there's its poisonous attack. Don't push it close to me, though. Alright, go explode that sheep. Ah! Oh, wait, come on now. Ah! <laughs> it just blew me up! I'm not doing that again. Did it die? Where'd it go? Oh god, I'm scared of you. Don't, don't you dare. I hope this doesn't include my house. I love the little lumberjack vest. Of course the leaves don't decay, so like, you'll need um, the mod that makes them instantly decay. Okay, it totally tried to destroy my house. <laughs> it attempted. Ah, uh, so yeah. I'll repair that later, I'm too lazy right now. But uh, a huge chunk, chunk of my house is missing because of a uh, lumberjack rat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm so. Oh. Kind of a dizzifying. Oh god, please don't set my house on fire. I hope that's not your quirk. I think that's most of the upgrades right there besides like the fisherman and the one that requires RF and RE which I don't have energy mods ex installed right now but I wouldn't go to Ratlantis so like let's go see what the portal has to offer you need one of those token things listen I don't have the I don't have the heart to like kill 10,000 rats right now but yeah how do I use this <laughs> um oops um did I do it <laughs> it's on my porch and I'm surrounded by zombies but I did it It's like the dragon egg effect. Okay, I'm here. Oh my god, it's laggy. It's super laggy. But it's beautiful! Yeah, it's jungle wood. It's beautiful. Okay. It's Ratlantis biome. And this is the flowers. Rat oh my god! What's happening? <laughs> I'm in the void. Void people, let's go. <laughs> I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> it takes so long to load. Oh, I just went back. Oh, I totally just went back. <laughs> and it spawns you in a totally random location. So keep that in mind. Oh yeah, there's um they're actually made of cheese. How do you get marble cheese? Yeah, that one you get from the architecture 
rat and then I guess you smelt it and it looks it looks exactly like like normal marble you know except I don't actually see normal marble but that's the a fire thing that killed me this is the beast the rat bot oh my god are they gonna like fire lasers at me hold on I'm scared but I want to see What really gets me is those particles. This is the feral Ratlantian. Can I like actually put a saddle on them or no? Cause that'd be cool if I could tame them. Can I, can I use cheese? Do you guys, y'all like cheese? Developers, if you're watching this, it would be super cool if you could ride the feral Ratlanteans with a saddle or the rat bots. Uh, and it could be like you could have a cheese on a stick, similar to how you ride pigs, because these are obviously bigger than pigs, and you can ride pigs in Minecraft, so I think you should be able to ride these too. And I know, I know there's an upgrade that the rats can ride them, but I think it'd be cool if the player could also ride them in addition to that upgrade. So yeah, consider it. Um, so it's beautiful, but it's deadly. What can I use the ectoplasm for? A flying dutch rat spell. Okay. Or an erythral upgrade. Oh, and this one's like an even better sword. Damn. So you can like turn anything ghostly with this. This is the bell. Oh, I wanna, I wanna, okay, time to set night. Cause I wanna see this guy. Where'd he go? I can't see his face because he's phasing through everything. Oh, okay, like. Yeah, so that's a new boss for you. It's strange how you can get like all the goodies before um, before he actually spawns, though. It doesn't look like there's anything else in there, is there? No. Oh, there is. Okay. A lot more stuff. Oh God. Plague stew. Delicious. Scrumptious. I wish I could ride them like myself because like I don't know they're pretty big. They're like huge. Are these things hostile? Oh they're very hostile. Woohoo, you made it to the end. You should be proud. Thank you guys for watching the video and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I have a bit of a channel update for all my beans out there real quick. I just wanted to say that I probably won't be able to upload as frequently as I'm gonna have a lot of things going on in these upcoming months. So right now I upload once or twice a month that's how it's been lately like i take a lot more time to edit i pretty much take like all day to edit my videos so that's why i'm not able to upload as much right now but in addition to me taking a lot of time to edit now i'm just gonna have like a lot of life things going on you know like my job and my studies and all of that so there's all that and uh, you know it's not just youtube i probably won't have as much time to interact with my friends either which is kind of sad but uh it does have its positives you know i'm excited for the learning experience 
but uh, that just means that I'm gonna be uploading less frequently so instead of like monthly it'll be more like uh, I don't know bi-monthly or even longer than that but I'm still gonna do YouTube because I enjoy YouTube I really I enjoy making uploading and editing videos you know no matter how long it takes me to edit my videos I enjoy the process and I appreciate that people watch them <laughs> a lot so that's that thank you guys for listening I hope you understand and Hopefully we'll be able to get out more videos soon, even with life things going on, because, you know, I said I enjoy it, and I do, it's not a lie. And if you guys enjoy it too, then I obviously want to make more. So I will do it when I can, and I hope you all are doing well, even if uh, 2020 is not your best year. We will make it better and persevere together.